Hello, my friend. So happy to see you made it here today. Because as always, we've gathered here in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God, he is alive. I want you to pray with me this morning. Please pray with me for some of the people out there in the world that are struggling. And, and I recognize and I know each and every one of us have the opportunity to come to God without fear. To come to God, our Father, without guilt or shame. And yet, there are many people who lack the strength of faith or in their faith to be able to do those things. They lack hope, they lack the ability to recognize they're worthy, they are loved, and God desires them, them to be in his presence. And so they, they lack those abilities and so they don't come. But still we pray. And so let us pray together and join together. I want you to pray today for Julianne McAfee. She is a mother who takes care of children, as all good mothers should do, and, and she's a widow, so she's lost her husband. We just want to pray that the Lord would strengthen her with faith, with love, and the ability to trust, trust in humanity once again, trust in herself and within the Christian body. We I want to pray also for Kathy Hall, who is getting a hip replacement, has high blood pressure, diabetes, 75 years old, and is afraid. She went in yesterday for the surgery, and, and we want to pray for her because she's, you know, one of those folks that doesn't feel worthy to connect with God or, or it's not that you don't feel worthy to be loved, but it feels unworthy to be in God's presence and to approach God without guilt or shame. So let us pray for her that the Lord would strengthen her and strengthen her with courage to recover, the desire to recover. It's tough to go into these relate. Uh, surgeries at such a late age in, in life and it really takes a lot out of you so let us pray for her we also want to play pray for debbie sandon she's a caregiver for her father's house is run down no support system She's feeling overwhelmed <laughs> as many people take on the responsibility to be a caregiver for their loved ones. A caregiver for a disabled child, a husband, a wife, a spouse, a brother, a, a sister, uh, a mother or a father, whatever it is, to, to take on the responsibility of being a caregiver for one of the members of your own family is tough. It's one of the toughest jobs out there and you know let's let let us not lose our reward because we're being the good servants Christ has called us to be. So we want to pray for her to be strengthened. I I, I know of all people who do know what it's like to have no support system and yet try to be a, a servant. You, you give yourself to a person whom you love and, and have no reward in it other than the reward to be given away to your loved one. And, and it's tough. And to be overwhelmed is tough. And not to have the ability to trust and nurses and doctors and, and care homes in, in this day and age is tough and it's a shameful thing for the American people that we can't trust in caregivers outside of, of ourselves. 
We also want to pray for Pan Moran, Moran, another caregiver to a mom, a sister, a brother, and a house ran down, no support system. You know, uh, you don't get paid to be a caregiver for your family. And Pam has brothers and sisters who are all suffering from uh, dementia. But you don't get paid to be a caregiver. There's no personal gain or financial gain in being a caregiver. And so when things come about and your house starts falling apart and plumbing uh, goes awry, <laughs> it becomes very difficult. Sometimes those little things are the straws that break the camel's back. And so we pray, we pray for strength. Pray and join in me, join with me in this prayer. I also want to pray for April Marie down in Texas, a great friend of mine, and she has always got pain. She struggles with, with pain within her body and chronic pain. So we want to pray for the Lord to strengthen her, strengthen her family around her. Uh, she's a wonderful person, but as all of us, you know, we, we live in a frail, weak bodies, and so we need prayer. Let us pray together. Heavenly Father, our Father, our Father, who lives in heaven, hallowed, holy, wonderful, beyond our capability to contain you and your name. It is wonderful. We thank you, Dad, for allowing us to know your name, to be able to call upon your name, to be able to know you in the ways we know you. You are our strength, you are our hope, and in you we find everything to be thankful for. So we thank you, Father. We, we thank you for all the good people and all the good things you place around us in our lives, even those things we're unaware of. We gather here to, together today in prayer because you said, come, so we came. You said, knock, and so we knocked. You said to us, Father, come and ask of me, and so here we are asking of you, I'm not telling you what to do. We know that all the pains and the sufferings going on in these people's lives is very much well known to you, but open our hearts and our minds to see some compassion and find some empathy and sympathy for these people whom we know you love. Give them confidence and confidence in their praise and their thankfulness towards you, Father, by showing them mercy. We just ask that you would remember mercy and remember we need mercy and we are people of flesh and made of flesh and so we need your strength and, and you are our hope and so we trust in you. We love you. We thank you for all the love you're raining into our lives. Comfort their hearts by filling their homes with a little bit of joy, their mind with peace, that our peace comes from you. Our sanctification comes through you. We pray, Father, and we, we seek to interact with you. Here we are, Lord. We can hear your word speak. Speak your word because in your word we know is life. And so we seek the life of your word to manifest itself in these people's lives, to encourage them and to lift them up, to keep them strong so that they may praise your name and may relish in the glory of your goodness. We know you're good, and so we seek your goodness. We love you. We thank you. I thank you, Jesus. 
I thank you, Jesus, that you would that you would take the time to hang out with us today. Thank you, Jesus, for listening. Thank you, Jesus, for acknowledging that you know these people's names. I know you know them, and you know them by name. And so that's why we speak of them, and we bring them to you. We lift them up, O oh Lord, into a place that is outside of our control and outside of our capability. And place them in your control and into your hands, which are very much capable. We know you can heal. We know you can restore. We know you can redeem. We know your love has no ends. There's nothing binding your love. So we ask just for your love, that your love would become a reality in these people's lives. Take away the pain of April Marie so she may live in peace. And take away the struggles that are overwhelming Pam. Take away the struggles that are overwhelming Debbie. Take away the struggles that are overwhelming Julie, and Father, strengthen the hope and the faith of Kathy. We love you. We love you. I love you. Let your face shine on them. Let your face shine on them, O oh Lord, because we know when your face shines upon us, we shall be blessed. Be our blessing. Be our God. Be our deliverer. Continue to protect over Harley and Taylor. Whatever it is they endeavor to undergo or take on upon themselves, protect over them. Protect over my mother and my father. Protect over my sister, her children, and even Travis, her husband. Protect over us, Father, because we need you. We need you. So come and hang out with us today. In Jesus' name, we all pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.